on this video we're going to completely rebuild the toilet first cut the water off since we're going to remove the toilet from where it is, the tank and everything, we're going to take the uh, top off and put it somewhere where it's safe remove the remaining water in the tank I usually like to start by removing the uh, tank ball so that I can take a nice large sponge and sponge up the remaining of the water that's in the tank. And once we get most of the water out the tank, that's when we're going to begin removing the tank. Now this way, water doesn't go everywhere. Here I'm pouring at the pack packing nut. Okay, now we're going to remove the supply line to the toilet. Removing the supply line to the toilet. This is the, uh, and usually I like to do this with the, uh, going to remove the ball cock. This is the, uh, bottom view of the ball cock. So we're just gonna remove this nut. So the bank out. This is the top view of the ball cock. the refill tube for the brass ball cock we just screw it in there's only one spot it can go
Now this is going to be the trip lever for the float. The ball float will go on one end and as the water rises it will cut the water to the ball cock off therefore stopping the tank from filling or overflowing. Now the ball float. It just screws right on to the other end. Of course you're going to need two sets of hands to do this while holding the ball cock up top in the tank and screwing the uh, nut on from the bottom part. Now let's tighten it with the uh, our pliers. Now we're going to install the supply line to the toilet. For those of you that like to work with the uh, stainless steel braided supply line, this is a much easier supply line to work with because it's the flexibility that it has